Hey friends, it's Christine from Spotted Horse Design Company and welcome back to my channel where we explore the wonderful world of crochet. So today I have something really special lined up for you guys. It is a roundup of 10 relaxing and mindful crochet blanket patterns and the best part is they are all free. Now before we dive into these patterns, let's talk about the importance of mindful crochet, especially for those dealing with anxiety. Crochet isn't just about creating beautiful pieces. It's a therapeutic activity that can help calm the mind and reduce anxiety. The Repetitive motions of crochet can be incredibly soothing, almost like a form of meditation. It allows you to focus on the present moment, the rhythm of your stitches, and the texture of the yarn slipping through your fingers. This mindful approach to crochet has been shown to lower stress levels and promote a sense of well-being. Now let's jump into these 10 relaxing and mindful crochet blanket patterns. And remember, all of these patterns are free to access, so they are perfect for anyone looking for a calming crochet project. Did you know there's actually a stitch called the blanket stitch? Yup. This pattern comes from Jessica from Mama and a Stitch and she uses this stitch for this super cozy blanket. Now, while most blankets are made with worsted yarn, Jessica uses Woolies Chunky from Lion Brand for added squish and warmth. She gives two size options, a baby blanket or a throw blanket. So if you're looking for the perfect go-to blanket pattern, Jessica promises us this one is it. This next pattern comes from Lauren of Daisy Cottage Designs. Made with mostly double crochet stitches, this is a nice easy blanket that most any crocheter can make. Lauren says you can use whatever yarn you wish as long as it's worsted weight. Acrylic or cotton will work best. Now, the photos show different stripes of color and instructions are given for changing color if you're not sure how to do that. But you can also make this in a solid color, which would look just as stunning. What's great about this pattern is that Lauren gives us lots of options for adjusting the size of this blanket, including baby, lap, throw, and twin sizes. Next up is the lovely Summertime Stripes Blanket from Tiffany of Daisy Farm Crafts. I really love the bold colors of this blanket. This would definitely brighten any room or space you put it in. Now this pattern uses a variation of the half double crochet stitch called the herringbone half double crochet, which gives the stitch a slight slant and gives the blanket a more solid fabric than just regular half double crochet stitches. So the finished size for this blanket is 31 by 34 inches. And not only does this pattern include a full video tutorial, but it also comes with a free printable and downloadable PDF as well. Next up is the Hills and Hollows blanket pattern by Cheryl of Crochet 365. This pattern combines the classic granny stitch with a lovely chevron pattern and I really love the end result. So Cheryl suggests that this blanket is a great one for using up those yarn scraps, a scrap gan, if you will. But even if you don't have scraps and just want to use one solid color, you totally can. As far as size goes, Cheryl made a lap afghan with five Karen cakes and her finished blanket ended up being 49 inches by 52 inches. Here's another blanket by Jessica of Mama in a Stitch. This blanket is called the Icelandic Crochet Blanket and this cozy blanket features the lemon peel stitch and is made using Woolies Thick and Quick yarn. Now, while you can access the free pattern on her blog, it's also offered as a convenient kit by Lion Brand, which is perfect for those staying at home. These kits include both supplies and the pattern in one package. The finished blanket measures 36 by 40 inches, but Jessica provides a handy blanket sizing reference chart for those looking to customize the dimensions. Next up is this waffle blanket pattern by Michelle of MJ's Off the Hook. So I've recently become a huge fan of the waffle stitch. Its thick texture gives it a satisfying squishiness that's perfect for sweaters, blankets, and scarves. Yes, this stitch is a yarn eater, but I promise that an entire blanket made from this stitch is totally worth it. This pattern comes with a full step-by-step -step video tutorial and is available in a baby and throw size. The pattern calls for Mellow Spun DK yarn from Mary Maxim, but Michelle gives several suggestions for other yarn that would work just as well. So this next blanket pattern comes from Rachel of Evelyn and Peter. This one is called the Thistle Throw, and just by the photos, this looks so soft, elegant, and warm. 
Rachel uses the luxurious Velux yarn from Lion Brand and the end result is just stunning. Since this is made with mostly double crochet stitches, this would be a great option for crocheters who are just starting out. In addition to the free pattern on her blog, you can watch the full video tutorial on her YouTube channel or you can order the entire crochet kit from Lion Brand. The finished blanket measures 40 inches by 52 inches. Jess from Make and Do Crew brings us a lovely modern granny stitch blanket and I am here for it. If you love granny squares but prefer more modern designs, then this blanket is the perfect combination of traditional and trendy. And since these granny stitches are worked in flat rows without increases, this is truly a perfect mindless crochet project to unwind with at the end of the day. This blanket is made using Heartland worsted yarn from Lion Brand and measures 36 inches by 49 inches. Next up is a pretty moss stitch blanket from Sarah of Repeat Crafter Me. Instead of working in rows from the bottom up, as you may normally do, Sarah designed this blanket to be worked in rounds, forming a square. Now, if working the moss stitch in the round sounds like it may be difficult for you, don't worry because Sarah has provided us with an in-depth video tutorial of how to do this. The finished blanket measures 32 inches by 32 inches and uses one to two balls of the big Karen Cakes. So this last blanket pattern was actually designed by yours truly and continues to be a crocheter favorite. I named this one the Fireside Blanket, which is in reference to my tent life. So if you don't know, I lived in a tent for two years and documented my journey on social media. I won't get into that now, but I have warm memories of listening to the crackling of the fire while wrapped up in this blanket on those cold winter nights. This blanket is made using the Almond Ridge Stitch and is one of my favorite mindful crochet stitches. It's simple enough to crochet on autopilot, yet continuously counting in groups of four helps keep my mind present. I actually wrote a blog post about using crochet to help with anxiety and panic attacks, and this is always my go-to stitch when I find myself in those terrifying moments. So that concludes my roundup of 10 relaxing and mindful crochet blanket patterns. Remember, practicing mindful crochet can be a powerful tool in managing anxiety and promoting overall well-being. So I hope you found this list helpful and that it gives you some ideas for a future project. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye! so many plies. Why me? <laughs> what was that? <laughs> I wasn't expecting it to do that. <laughs>